Hi Daniel, it's Albert from Shapers. Just doing the walk around on the 2012 F350. Uh, what you'll see in the inspection report, things I did notice is that the AC doesn't uh, wasn't blowing cold at the time of the inspection. And also I believe the rear brakes had failed. Um, since then, what we did do on it was charge the AC and it did get new brakes all the way around. So, um, while we're doing the walk around today, I'm going to start, I'm going to give you a cold start on the engine for you so you can see what it sounds like. And we'll also make sure that the AC is working for you as well. Um, for that though, let's take a look at the outside, check for any uh, imperfections in the paint. Looks like some dirt there. White does a good job of letting that stand out for you. So, looks pretty clean on the hood. Windshield looks to be free of chips, cracks, anything starting to develop. Headlights are good, no cracks or condensation starting to form there. No small bumps or dents in the bumper. Again, that work trucks sometimes usually get. Looks like it does have a uh, engine block heater as well. Um, pulling up the history report, if I remember correctly, it is a two owner zero accidents. If not, that is one owner. Uh, I'll have to recall that for you. Uh, Taking a look at the tires. Plenty of tread there, no signs of weather checking, anything like that. Going down the body, other than the bug there. Um, looks to be pretty clean. Overall, let's take a look at the cab corners and the underbody. Right, we'll make sure to take a look at that again on the other side as well. Continuing down the body, looking at the rear tires. Looked at plenty of tread, no weather checking. I can tell. Another look at the wheel well here. Let's go around the back side. Checking the bumper. I don't see any dents or anything in the bumper. Uh, looks like the Ford emblem's a little faded. Or perhaps uh, the bluing came off. Something to that effect. But overall good condition for what I'm seeing. If you look here in the back, uh, you will see uh, it may have had a fifth wheel hookup at some point along with your outlet over there and a nice very very thick uh rolled on bed cover it looks like now going down the passenger side again checking the body body looks good let's take a look at those corner panels excuse me cab corners and take a look at the underbody as well the tires seem to be good uh, no weather checking anything like that Going down the body from what I'm seeing, very, very clean. Running boards are securely fastened. A lot of times you'll see where some of the bolts are broken or hanging out and they're kind of hanging off weird themselves. Taking a look at the tires, good tread, no weather checking. Let's, uh, I'm gonna pop the hood, and go into the inside and go ahead and start it for you. Again, this is a cold start, you know, you, uh, you prefer to see, see how the vehicle starts that way. So I'll do that for you. Take a look here. There she is. Take a quick peek at the engine here. Looking down. Again, looking for any signs of leaks or anything for you. Alright, let's start it up. So started right up. Let's give her a listen. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside real quick for you, Daniel. Uh, see here your window controls along with mirror controls to make sure the windows do work for you. Alright, windows are all good. See mirror works good. Mirror's working as well. And when, from what I'm seeing, all the window, all the door locks are working for you. So let's move the power seat back, which does work. Um, looking here. 
see a small stain there in the seat. But other than that, I don't smell any signs of cigarette smoke, burns in the seats, tears, rips, anything like that. So let's go ahead and jump here. Look at the dashboard. Looks like one of the tires has low pressure. Now you see your oil temp, trans temp. So you got to get to see how everything's running, looks like. Uh, other than the doors being open, no check engine lights. Uh, again, now it does have a low tire, which I will go ahead and uh, fill up for you, of course. Then a quick peek at uh, your central console here, see your integrated trailer brake and then all your auxiliary switches. Uh, I don't, from what I can tell, they're not hooked up anything. Um, of course, Ford has your sink for your phone. Now let's uh, continue to look around. Again, checking the interior, the condition of the vehicle for you. Go to the passenger rear, excuse me, rear driver side. Small little stain there. Um, other than that, pretty clean as far as work truck back seats usually go. They're usually pretty beat up from what uh, from what I've seen. I'm trying to lift the seat up for you. You can see uh, your storage compartment. Take a look under here in the carpet. Looks like you do have a auxiliary excuse me auxiliary port there as well. So that's pretty cool. And while I got you, Daniel, let's run around to the other side. Okay. Just like the Dodge did, this one will come with a six month, 6,000 mile powertrain warranty from us here at Schaefer's. 50 50 call split, but you do have to come back to us to utilize the, uh, looks like the window locks on there. Uh, to utilize that warranty so for most and for all intents and purposes like I said you can essentially uh, essentially uh, essentially assume it's an as-is vehicle um, like I said I'll send over that that ins inspection report for you um, so you can take a look at that looks like someone uh, missed the stock number piece of paper all right and it looks like you have your owner's manual as well now the big question we're going to jump inside, crank up the AC, and make sure that works for you. One thing I like about Ford is when you're roasting, you can just hit this max AC button and it'll kick everything on for you. And for the minute or so that we've had it running, it's blowing some nice cold air. Like I said, that was taken care of uh, from the inspection. One last thing, let's check. See here, see your rear sliding window? And that does work as well. So, hope that was useful for you, Daniel. Um, hope I got, I didn't miss anything. Um, like I said, I'm gonna send over the inspection report. Uh, and hopefully this will, this will give you some better information. Thanks for your time, Daniel.